My name is Ronald Diner. My rank was third class petty officer fireman on the USS Wasp from 1951 to, I believe it was 1953, right after they declared a peace with North Korea. I was 16 years old. I wanted to join, I wanted to drive a car. So I changed my birth certificate from 31 to 30. I uh, went into reserves, did my four years, and I had an opportunity to re-enlist again. So, so I re-enlisted it the second time. And it was shortly after my second re-enlistment in the reserves that North Korea invaded South Korea. As a result of me having forged my birth certificate, my driver's license today still say 1930. Uh, years ago, my son lived in Belgium, and we flew over there many times, my wife and I. One day, we landed in Belgium, and we're checking in, and I got my passport, and my passport says 1931, and my driver's license says 1930. So he asked me, and this is after I don't know how many times we, we've used it, but it was the second passport that I had to have, right? So he says, when were you born? So I said, 1931. He said, how come your driver's license says 1930? So I told him, and he said, get the hell out of here. <laughs> like my brother went to Bay, Bay, Bay Bridge, I went to Bay Bridge. Uh, when I went there, my brother took me to Penn Station, Newark, take the train to uh, Bainbridge, and he told me, he says, make sure you tell them when you go there that you want to send home to your mother and father 10% of your pay. Now, 10% of a recruit isn't much, but, you know, it was something that was sent home to my mother for the two years that I was in. Uh, what? Well, you had to do your own laundry. I, I enjoy this. You had to do your own laundry. And one day, while you're hot, tying up your laundry in the square knot, and if you don't put it in the square knot, all hell breaks loose. And uh, I guess there was uh, 30 of us in the barracks, and somebody did not tie a square knot, and the chief petty officer came in, and he says, gentlemen, you did, one person did not put a square knot, you'll find your clothes in the mud, right where you hung them. Uh, and everybody went out, picked up their clothes, now we have to wash them again, and now we all have to wait in line to wash the clothes. But let me tell you, you always tied a square knot after that. We did marching, fire, fire uh, shooting, rifle, handguns. gas mask, you had to take it off, they put you in the room, slam the door shut, you're told to take off the mask, and I think you had to keep it off for a couple minutes, and uh, they would open up and then blow everything out. Uh, I think that was like six weeks, and then from there, uh, I went on board the WASP.